Hey, there's a song I used to sing. I still sing every so often. It's one of these little affirmations that I do. I may be one, but I am one, and I can change the world. I may be one, but I am one, and I can change the world. Let's say that to you. Why? Because I know that there's things that you would like to put out into the world. You want to bring more meaning, more beauty, more stuff, more creativity, more love into the world. But you're holding back. You're holding back. Sometimes because you think, well, everybody else is doing what I want to do anyway, so what's the point? Or you think nobody wants what I have anyway. Or you just doubt your ability to actually bring something good into the world. And so instead you stay on the track that the world set for you, told you, yeah, get that job or, you know, go and get that education and get that particular job. And then you'll have money and you'll be fine and you'll be happy. You aren't happy. You aren't really fine, <laughs> but you keep doing it because, well, everybody else around you does it too. So, you know, why do you think that you can be any different from them and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And so your stories go, honey, aren't you fed up? Aren't you fed up of living this half life of yours? This life where you don't get to do the things that you want to do. Hey, before I carry on, I am Rosemary Nolly Knight. I am the prosperity minister. I support driven, determined spiritual people to regain their confidence, to leave behind the pain, the limited beliefs of the past to rise victorious in their true design life. Everybody has a true design, but most people are living in their false design, if that's even a thing. <laughs> They're living some kind of half life, telling themselves that they have to put up with it when really what they would love to be doing is writing books or, or creating cosmetics or crafting art or doing crafts even or jewelry or teaching people stuff or anything, you know, anything but what they're doing right now. And yet, they say stop doing whatever it is that they're doing right now, telling themselves stories of, well, I have no choice. I have to do it. I have this. I have responsibilities. I, and I get it. I get it. I get it. We get older. We get responsibilities. There are things that we have to do. Absolutely. I agree. Yes, yeah, true. But, 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 there's still so much more you could be doing with your time. So much more you could be doing with your life. If you would say yes to starting to build something, even if it's just on the side. I started building this on the side. I was a pharmacist. I had three young little children. My husband was at university when I started doing this, you know? But I made a choice that I was going to fit it into my life. It did take, you know, bankruptcy and craziness, finally, for me to realize, well, if anything is going to change, it's going to be down to me. But I started doing little things, learning as I went. You can do the same. Stop telling yourself stories. Stop praying and begging and hoping that God is somehow going to press a button and then, yay, you get to write now. No. You are the one that is going to actually have to decide and say, you know what? My vision is actually important. I am going to bring it to life. You are the one that has to make that decision. Nobody can do it for you. You are capable of your calling. That vision you carry inside of you, it is your permission. I like to say your vision is your permission. You are capable of your calling, but you are the only one with the choice to, to, to do it or not to do it, to do it or not to do it, or to keep telling yourself stories of why you can't do it. Because they're all stories, honey. They're all stories. You think anybody started doing something amazing from a place of everything is perfect in my life. So now, I mean, yeah, okay, some people do, that they get to the point where they have built something that enables them to have freedom to do all the things that they want to do. Absolutely, I get that. But mostly when you're starting something for the first time, you're not in a perfect position. You just do it because you must. In fact, sometimes the reason you're doing it is because of the fact that life isn't great. So don't tell me that, oh, when things are perfect, when I've done this, when I've done that, then I will, it's a lie. You won't. You'll be more set in your ways. You'll be more fed up. You will just not even have the energy. So you just want. So today, today is the day that you finally realize that though you are one, you are one, one with the divine, honey. And so you can, the thing that you want to bring to this world could literally be the thing that changes it. And it will. You don't know the butterfly effect. You do something here. You impact one person. That person impacts 10 people. That person impacts another 100. 
etc 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 and all because you woke up and decided to live the life that you were born to live wake up honey wake up stop giving in to fear and doubt that's why i have the book go and get the book it's a confidence book it's a deliberate millionaire's confidence book get on the path to peace and plenty get on your true design path Go get the book. There's going to be a link around this video. Go and get the book. Read the book. Implement the strategies because you need the inner work and you need the outer work in order to move forward. The book helps you with that. Go get the book. Link around this video. Go and get it. It's time for you to rise. Okay? Go get the book. There'll be a link around this video, okay? And share this video with somebody else because we need more driven spiritual people to actually start living in their true design. That's the only way we're going to make a great impact on this planet. Wake up. Please, wake up. Until the next time, much amazing love.